So these are your streets around here, are they? Yeah, I've got, man. There's a kid, you know. The street here is what we all, always used to think about as kids, you know, little get on low good and get in trouble with kids on the street. <laughs> so, I mean, are you always going to base yourself around here, or, you know, if world champion, you're going to move up west or get No, around? you know, if I think, um, I'll always, mum, mum will always be, I think. You know, if I, um, end up earning a lot of money out of the game, so I'm not hoping to do the next six years, earn a lot of dough, yeah. I'll probably buy a nice big place abroad and, have like a few apartments over here, places like that, and um, yeah. But as in, as in around this area, I'll probably always have my mum's home here. I'll always, we'll always have my mum's home, yeah. as we'll we always have, do you know what I mean? I always get the impression when I speak to you, or I hear you speak, that the, the Michael Katsidis fight is, is always in the back of your mind. I mean, you know, you say you let your fans down, it was a, a, a massive turnout at Upton Park that night. And, you know, is this going to be a factor when you get in the ring with Murray? You know, is this going to be in the back of your head that you did? Well, you, you, I'll quote your words. I don't think you let people down, but you say you let people down. Um, yeah. You know, is this going to be in the back of your mind? More pressure on you to deliver? I think it could Murray? be, yeah. I think um, it'd be, it's not pressure, I'd say. It's just more, more, it's like make me eager, make me more, more want to make it deliver, make it, make it, more make it happen than it should happen, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Make me want to push harder for it. Yeah. And um, in the last fight, when we could see this, obviously, I, I feel like I did let a lot of people down. I let my trainers down, I let my mum down, I let my family down. Let all my fans down that turn up that night, you know, which was a, was a big occasion. And, um, I didn't leave and let them down a little bit. Like, I wasn't even in there for, for the long haul. Yeah. I was in and out there for three rounds. You know, and this time now, I'm going to put it all straight and where I'm going to go come prepared for this fight now. Like, I wasn't the last fight. You'll see Kerry Mitchell back at his best, and I think you'll see me better than even the press fight. I mean, I booked this fight for, for Murray as, you know, Murray's, this is Murray's biggest fight. You've, yeah. This isn't your biggest fight because your biggest fight was your world title fight. Yeah. So, but to date, you know, is have you got more to lose by losing this fight than John has? Yeah, most definitely. You know, for me, it's my L, isn't it? You don't, you get big good champions come back from after losses, and but they don't lose and then lose again. You know, as I said, you, you get beat, you got to come back from your properly and strongly. And as in, I do believe seriously, I wouldn't be here to mess myself about and get beat again and muck myself. I'm here to do a, a big job and a good job and get the job finished. I mean, great start. There's always a lot of stuff surrounding your personal life. Um, how difficult is it to keep that separate from your boxing life? Because, I mean, you do anything. You got an out of date card disc, you know, and yeah. they're on your case. So, what, I mean, what, what have you got to say about all the stuff that's been in the papers recently? And you know, anything you want to clarify? Oh well, yeah, they've arrested me. They've, they've, they've shamed me in the papers for this and that. And um, I think you'll find out that it's all false. After the fight, I'm going to court and. Um, Proving me guilty and proving I'm, proving I'm, yeah, that I'm, I'm not guilty of it, and um, it will all get solved after the fight. And um, everyone was saying, you know, to be fair, I do a lot of work with kids and things, and that's that was my main thing with it. Like, yeah. you know, I go in a lot of schools and help kids train and things, help them lose weight and stuff, which is which is a, which is a big thing for me. And I like really enjoy doing it, but I'm not the time that I ain't in the gym training for fight. Yeah, I spend a lot of time with the children in the schools, and I work back in the primary schools work back at me, I'll senior schools and I do a lot of work with my teachers. And really it's it, it's mugged me to everything. It's a, it's just killed me, it's just destroyed me really because I love I do really enjoy working with kids and hopefully after this fight I'll go back to court and sort myself and, and prove that um, yeah that I'm not guilty in it at all so so, What have you got to say to your fans, your people that come, you had such a massive turnout. I mean I've never I mean you're talking about people like Ricky Atten that have Masses of fans like that. There's not many boxers in the country that can pull a crowd like you did at Upton Park. So yeah. what, what would you say to them people that come and watch there, you didn't deliver, in your words you felt like you left them down, what would you say to them? These next six years I'm going to be delivering every time out again, watch. And I'll um, bag two to three world titles in the next three years, in the next three years and I'm going to the top and I won't make a mistake again because you learn from mistakes massively, and trust me, I learned from the last mistake, as you can tell by talking to me, as in the way I think about it and the way I feel about it. And I'll be back, and I'll prove to everyone when they turn up, I'll be there for a brilliant night of sport and a brilliant night of boxing. How, how, how important have Jimmy and Frank been so far in your career? Because, like I said, they're obviously playing major roles in mm. what you do in the ring. Um, you know, how is life with Jimmy Tibbs and Frank Warren? Yeah, you see, we've, we've got to say about Frank Warren. Frank Warren's been a massive, and well, thanks. The best in all of his job, you know, and 
he's proven like Amir Khan get knocked out in one man, two fights back as world champion. It will prove that he's got him back to what what he does best, and um, and that's winning him and being a world champion. It shows you how good Frank is. You know, Frank Frank's he's done everything. He's matched me white, right, he's matched me perfect. I knew on my last fight that I didn't deliver because it was my own fault. And as in with Jimmy, Jimmy Tibbs, you know, he's been a massive fight. I don't think I'd have ever um, changed my career around. I was, I was a come forward left hooker. And now I'm box fighting. I can box fight and um, do whatever I have to do in that ring to win. Now I slip slide, I can, I can go in a hook, bang, bang you out, as, as, which is what I like doing. And um, yeah, Jimmy's been a massive help. Jimmy told me like a good thing the other day. He said, he said well, a few months back, a while back, before I come back in the training, he said, he said to me, Give your life six years, you give sport six years of your life, and you'll be able to um, do anything you want. You better win world titles and the money you want. Do what you want, and and, and, and the world is the world's at your feet. And really, realistically, it is. You know, win this, win this next fight, and I've got everything at my feet, and I've got everything where I want it. So, I mean, saying you do win this fight, um, are you going to be looking to fight for world titles straight away? You gonna... Yeah, you know, I think I think the world title fight will be getting set up. You know, against Ben and Wheels. That's something that I want, and. Um, that's something I think definitely looking forward to the future for, you know what I'm saying? Brendan Wills will be something, something and someone that I think I can beat. Mm. You know, and as in I've watched his styles and um that's a fight I'll be looking at for the next fight, but as in I'll see what Frank has to say, you know, as Frank West says, Don't well, don't rush me, don't rush me, so I'll just basically see what Frank's got. Let him let yeah. him do his thing and you do your thing. So. Yeah, most, basically yeah. I mean, like I said, I can't, I can't call this fight. To be honest with you, it's a 50-50 fight. A lot of, a lot of boxing fans mm -hmm. are calling it as a 50-50 fight. You, you're most probably the best two lightweights. Well, you are the best two lightweights in the country, so it's inevitable that you two were, were going to meet at some point. And um, but I wish you the best of luck, because, like I said, I was gutted for you at the yeah. uh, Upton Park. I was. Only because I could free, I could for the ticket. But, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> joke. No, but I was gutted for you because it, it was set up for you that night, and yeah. to see you, you know, not perform out everyone knows you can perform yeah. was was disappointing so you know I wish you and I wish John Murray as well because Joe Gallagher does a great job with John Murray yeah, as you does, know yeah. and you know I wish you both the best of luck may the best man win so yeah. thank you very much for thank talking you to us to I from London Kevin Mitchell and Coogan Cassius for I from London thank you very much thank you very much